of fish extenders. So the first question you might be asking yourself is, what is a fish extender? So basically a fish extender is an onboard gift exchange between staterooms. And if you would like to become a part of the fish extender family on your cruise, what do you have to do first? Is get a fish extender. So here's what a fish extender looks like. A fish extender is a series of pockets that hangs outside your door. You may have a pocket for each member of the family, or maybe one for the parents and the rest for the kids. We've had a few fish extenders. I made this one first. It's a little bit bigger, it's a little bit wider, and so you can either create your own or you can order one off Etsy. This one is great because we have had different people sailing with us at different times, whether it was family or friends, and this one we will show you actually has buttons on the back and you can take off um, or put on pockets for the different amount of people sailing with you. Other people also may just get like a drawstring bag and hang it on the hook outside their door. You can put just put gifts inside. And here's the pocket off of the other one. So you can add people on, take people off. It works great for us when we're sailing with different people or family members. So if you would like to join a fish extender group, how would you do that? The first thing you have to do is get on Facebook and find your Disney cruise group. And your Disney cruise group would be by your ship or and by your dates. It'd probably say like Disney Magic plus whatever dates you're going on. The administrator on there will probably have some kind of link or system for you to join your group. Normally, um, we've seen anywhere from or five staterooms all the way to like 12 staterooms and they'll usually name them like Group Mickey and then you'll have all the staterooms under it, Group Minnie and all the staterooms under And what kind of things do they ask you on that documentation? So they'll usually, first you have to know which stateroom you're in, they ask you for your name, maybe your age or gender and what your favorite characters are so they can kind of know what you like. Mm -hmm and what kind of things do we get in these fish extenders. So basically to sum it up is I think like Christmas, like a stocking stuffer gift kind of idea, but Disney theme or related. Yes, of course. Some ideas we've had or gotten are like this um, lightsaber pen, we've gotten Disney magnets before, um, we got this cool um, Star Wars notebook one. Those are from the Star Wars Day at Sea. Mm -hmm. Or people make like homemade magnets. We've or, seen uh, drink cozies. If you go on Etsy and just type in fish extender gifts, there's lots of cool and great ideas. And then some people really take the time to personalize these gifts, which is why you put uh, information about yourself for the, the other people in your group so they can um, customize it and personalize it. So why do they call it a fish extender? It's because it is an extension of the fish outside your door, which is a hook outside your door. And on the classic ships, the Magic and the Wonder, I believe both sides are fish. Yep. And on the Dream and Fantasy, one side is fish and the other side is actually seahorses now. So the last term you may have heard is called pixie dusting. So basically pixie dusting, all it is is you do not join a fish extender group, but you still give out the gifts, give it out to any fish extender that you see hanging on the door. So it can be a lot of fun and a great way to give. So that concludes our 101 tips on fish extenders. If you have any other questions, please leave us a comment below and let us know if you've ever pixie dusted or had a fish extender. And that does it for today's video. So bye, bye. travelers.